So talk to me about, you know, how something like ECW would get on your radar and, and boy, I'm not trying to pick a fight here, but they have their first ever pay-per-view in April of 1997. Prior to that, of course, they don't have a television deal. Yes, they're on TV, but it's syndicated. It's Friday night, it's Saturday morning. It's the crack of dawn. It's 2 a.m. It's whatever. So it's not exactly something that a national company like WCW would really probably be concerned with. But now they're on pay-per-view and they're making a little bit of noise. And again, they don't have national TV. So how many pay-per-views are they really going to sell? Maybe it's not really a threat. But you often wonder, well, if I've got to even think about when they're on the calendar or does a wrestling fan have to think about, do I have it in my budget to buy one or two pay-per-views, but maybe not three this month, whatever it may be. All I know is there's an offer that comes down in June of 97, just a handful of months after, or I guess maybe even May is probably when it really happened. One month after the pay-per-view where Ravens in the main event as the world champion, dropping the title to Terry Funk. And then before you know it, there's conversations with WCW and this has become a very controversial thing over the years, Eric, we've talked about this earlier this year. And I think you were even a little surprised that there was a story of a quote unquote mole. Maybe there was some backstage tension and, and the inner workings of ECW with Paul Heyman and Todd Gordon. And you were a Paul guy, or you were a Todd guy. And Todd was apparently friendly with Kevin Sullivan and was sharing contract information and trying to help some of that ECW talent make some more money. And one of those characters, maybe the first one is Raven. One of the top guys, former world champ, former main event of their very first pay-per-view. And now he's coming to WCW. And I'm sure that that's Kevin Sullivan, right? I would bet almost everything I own that that yeah. would be the case. Yeah. So how, how is this character explained to you? Is it simply Eric? These guys are on pay-per-view. He's one of their top guys. We can get him and, it, and it'll be affordable based on our pay structure. Or th does he really love the character and think this will be new. This will be interesting. This will be fresh. What's the pitch to get you to go I think the, the, the pitch was the character Yeah. again, because I knew Scotty, I worked with him. It, it wasn't like they were trying to introduce me to somebody I didn't know already. Um, and I, and I respected his, his ability as a talent in the ring. And I knew that, um, he was, he was potentially great on the mic. I think he needed some direction, but he, you know, there, that's subjective, but I, I knew he had all the potential on the mic. I knew that he was great in the ring and I was already familiar with him. So it didn't take a big pitch. It was, Hey, he's available. We need talent. Um, take a look at this character. It's pretty much it. Did you watch any of the character in ECW? Did they put together some sort of a highlight tape for you or something? No, I might, I may, maybe, I mean, I can't say for sure. Yes or no. I would have imagined that they would have, or, or it's look, it's quite possible that it's like, let's fly them in, take a look at them. We'll have a conversation and go from there and maybe not even see tape. That's just as possible. Well, I only bring it up because you've been pretty honest about saying, I didn't fucking like the character. I did. And, uh, and I, it's fascinating to me. Hey, the, they wanted to bring him in. They liked the character and well, I didn't like the character. Why bring him in? Because it, I could be wrong. Okay. I mean, I, I, look, there were a lot of characters. Don't say a lot. There were characters that I just went, I don't know, but the audience liked them. Right. Right. I've, I've said this before and it's, it's worth noting again. I have a lot of respect for Ted Turner. Right. I mean, if you look at what that man accomplished in terms of media, we, we, we kind of have forgotten about the, the frontier that he conquered not that long ago within our media lifetimes. And now we're on to Elon Musk and Bill Gates and, all these others, but Ted Turner was a real pioneer and, and an amazingly gifted person. But one of the things that I remember, and Ted didn't say this to me directly, like in a meeting or in an elevator, it was part of a meeting that I was at. It was a company wide meeting. So there was whatever, but Ted said something to the effect I'm paraphrasing here is, you know, one of the things that I learned about programming my network is not to program it for myself. Because if I only program my networks for the things that I like, 
I'm entertaining an audience of one. Mm. And you have to, and I, I took that to heart. And it's just kind of common sense. Just because I don't like Egg Foo Young doesn't mean that Egg Foo Young shouldn't be on a, on a menu at a Chinese restaurant. You know, you got to you got to program your network. You got to create your television, your wrestling show. Um, you need to build your product list for your market. And maybe there's some things on that product list you may not necessarily enjoy, or there's something at that buffet you just don't really want to eat. But damn, there's a lot of other people that do. So you go with it. I didn't I didn't base everything on what I liked and didn't like. It's what I saw potential in and didn't see potential in. You know, you have described at times saying that the WWF product, WWE product today feels like Disney on ice. It's overproduced. Mm. And you like maybe the more guerrilla style shooting style of AEW. Sometimes that presentation feels a little more gritty, a little more real. And I, I kind of felt the same way. Like the ECW stuff felt like, uh, an HBO documentary, you know, where we're following real life characters around and seeing them in less than circumstances so in other words if there was an ec if, if if a portion of the ecw audience did follow raven over to wcw they probably would have been turned off by that whole thing as you were right because yeah, it was too yes. it was too tv you lost them yeah yeah okay i get it and i understand why uh 